Did you know that the chances of dying while driving a car is higher compared to flying or riding a plane? We see this happening all over the world, through the news, in social media, or sometimes even in person. We already know that it's a dangerous world we live in. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the roads you would never want to drive on. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our videos. We all know that the bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. And that includes the bestest in the entertainment industry. Believe it or not, even when the whole family takes a lot of safety precautions, sometimes these accidents happen. This is probably why a lot of parents have their own doubts when it comes to their children driving. Although in this episode, that's not the case. Sometimes there are roads almost everyone gets scared of driving to. And today, we get to know what, where, and why. At number one, we have the Patio Pulo Perdicocchi Road in Greece. It is a 23.5 kilometer mountain road in the northeastern part of Aetolia, Arcinania, Greece. Aside from that, this narrow road also contains a lot of twists and turns. Driving on this road will cause you anxiety since it has no rail which should prevent you from falling off the edge. Its elevation also changes every 500 meters over the whole length. The Patio Pulo Perdicocchi Road in Greece also presents a lack of road markings and lights. And if you still decide to drive on this perilous road, then you should watch out for potholes. Can you imagine the other kinds of roads we get to see in this episode? Do you have any idea what else could be here? Well, stay tuned until the end so we get to know everything about these roads. At number two, we have the Zoji La Paz in India. Some people hardly call this place a road. The Zoji La or the Zozilia is an important mountain pass in India. It is the link between Ladakh and Kashmir. This road is 9 kilometers long and 3,500 meters above sea level. The Zojila is also closed during wintertime, but even when the weather is good, this road still presents a lot of dangers. It is narrow, there is no safety barriers, and it is used by large trucks and livestock. This is not a road you want to drive in, especially if you suffer from vertigo. There are already records of people getting stranded, getting into accidents, and dying on this pass. If that doesn't scare you, then feel free to have the scariest experience of your life by driving through this. At number 3, we have the Passage of Joie in France. This 4.3 km road connects mainland France and the island of Noix Motue. It looks like a normal road at first glance, but wait a few hours and you'll see what makes this one of the roads you should never drive on. This road is flooded twice a day by the high tide. It often goes completely underwater. Driving on this road requires more background research or maybe just checking the tide schedule. The passage of Joie can be very slippery to drive on, so it takes serious skill to be able to drive on this road. At number 4, we have the Taroko Gorge in Taiwan. This is another mountain route made by carving out rocks and is known as the country's deadliest road. The Taroko Gorge is filled with blind turns and narrow paths leading through mountains and caves. And that's not all. It also has many bends through the gorge. The gorge road is made up of a series of tunnels carved into a mountain along the Taiwanese Grand Canyon. Heavy rains and earthquakes result in many erosion and landslides in Taroko Gorge Road. Despite the word Taroko, meaning magnificent and splendid, it isn't something you can use to describe your driving experience. Those words may be more directed to the view instead. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? At number 5, we have the Bam Road in Russia. This was originally built as a service road for the Baikal Amur Mainline Railway. The unkept Bam Road stretches 2,700 miles across eastern Siberia via bogs, broken bridges, and potholes. 
Nowadays, it has become a more popular spot for daredevils, adventure motorcyclists, and even 4x4 drivers. They decided to take on the challenge and often find the route closed thanks to adverse weather. There are still a lot of roads for us to know, but so far, do you think there would be a chance of you driving to any of these roads? Or are you among the people who'd rather stay safe than take their risks and go on a journey on these dangerous roads? At number 6, we have the Luxor Al Hurghada Road in Egypt. You should know that human beings are responsible for making this street a death trap. If the word death trap doesn't scare you, then perhaps the presence of bandits and terrorists would. The Luxor Al Hurghada Road has a high criminal activity history, but that's not all. A lot of accidents happen here because some drivers choose to turn their headlights off. You may think these stories are only a few things to keep people out, but no. Fatal accidents happen here. But it doesn't stop people from driving on this road. It connects Hurghada, a city famous for scuba diving, resorts, and the ancient town of Luxor in southern Egypt. At number 7, we have the Skipper's Canyon in New Zealand. It is one of New Zealand's scenic routes and tourist destinations. The 26.5-kilometer road was built over 140 years ago by hand by miners. It doesn't sound so dangerous, right? You're wrong. Since this road has very little safety features and it is extremely narrow, its narrowness has reached up to a point when two vehicles meet on the road, one often will have to back up to find a part of the road where it is wide enough to pass safely. And that's a spot which is seriously hard to find. Sometimes, drivers even back up at least 3 kilometers. Your rental car insurance won't be so happy if you do choose to drive on this road. At number 8, we have the Fairy Meadows Road in Pakistan. It is a 10-mile long road which reaches heights of 3,300 meters above sea level. And like most dangerous roads, this also has no guardrails. This road was carved by locals hundreds of years ago and hasn't been maintained since. Fairy Meadows Road starts at the Karakoram Highway and ends in the village of Tato. People have died on this trail. This is no wider than a 4x4 for a stretch of 6 uneven treacherous miles. People are currently trying to raise money to fund eventual resurfacing work. At number 9, we have the Trollstigen in Norway. This road makes you want to think there are trolls on them too. The Trollstigen name does remind you of trolls. Okay. It is located on the side of a mountain in Roma, Norway. The track will give you the feeling of a racetrack with numerous sharp turns and tight curves. Maybe the most common denominator in most of the roads that we've seen in this episode so far are its narrow features. It's so narrow that any vehicle bigger than 40 foot long won't fit in. And of course, the last road in our list. Its name alone is enough to make you swear you ain't driving on it. At number 10, we have the Yungas Road or Death Road in Bolivia. Right? The name does scare you. Well, it scares us. Anyways, the Death Road covers a stretch of 43 miles. It connects Coroico and La Paz, the capital city of Bolivia. At its highest elevation, the route stands at 4,650 meters. That's 15,256 feet. Most drivers often find themselves navigating narrow gravel trails well above cloud level. This is another road that isn't great for people with vertigo. It has over 200 hairpin turns with sheer drops of 1,100 meters. The death road has claimed a lot of lives, and the one that stands out is a bus veering into a canyon. This one incident alone killed a hundred people. It was considered as Bolivia's worst road accident on record. But that's not all. Up until 1994, almost 300 people died every year on this road. Now, isn't that scary? We think a lot about how we should live life to the fullest. This is also why we prepare a lot of safety precautions, especially when driving or being on the road. 
it's not really a case of paranoia. We just know we don't want to be caught in accidents on roads like these. And now that you know which roads are dangerous, then we know you'll make sure to avoid them. Are you lost, baby girl? However, what road gave you the chills the most? Or maybe what road would you dare to drive on? Let us know in the comment section below. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next bestest video.